Hey guys, in this video I will be showing you how to install multiple versions of Python and how to access each different version via the command prompt. I will intentionally be leaving off the, uh, the path variable when I install the last uh, Python version. So, so you have an option to, ins uh, to add a Python path when you're installing Python, but I will intentionally leave off that option so that I can show you just in case you've installed Python and you don't know how to add a path, I can show you how to manually add a path post installation. So I'll be doing this for Windows 7 and I will um, be doing this on my laptop so the quality is not going to be as good. I actually, I purposely uninstalled all of the Python versions I had installed on my laptop so I can do this video with you guys and show you exactly step by step how to install everything and how to access all versions of Python. Okay, so since I'll be installing for Windows, I just need to find out uh, downloads. Okay, here we go, downloads, Windows, and we'll start off with Python 3.6, and since I'm, I have a 64-bit operating system, I'll be using the web-based installer, and I will save this, and it should be done. Yeah, I guess it's already done. Okay, so run this. And this laptop's a little slow, so it should run. Okay. So now, uh, so we're at the uh, installation window. So the important part that you guys should remember is um, you should always add Python 3.6 to the path. So you always click this option because this will allow you to access Python from the uh, command prompt. So we're going to click this. And then we'll just install now, and it's going to install. Okay, so great, it's done. So I will close this off, and now the next version we want to install is the Python 3.5 version. Okay, so we'll do the same. We're going to get the 64-bit web installer. I will uh, save this, and I think it should be done. Yeah, okay, now it's done. So I, I will install this. Once again, we're going to make sure that uh, we check the uh, add Python uh, to the path. Okay, so add Python 3.5 to path. I'm going to check that and we're going to install this version. Okay, now that we've uh, successfully installed um, Python 3.5, the next thing we're going to do is install Python 2.7. I have to first make sure I completely got rid of Python 2.7 and deleted all the folders. So I think we're good now. So I'm going to install Python 2.7, the 64-bit version. And let's see. And this time I'm going to make sure I don't add a path, uh, add Python 2.7 to the path variable. So this will make it impossible for me to access Python 2.7 from the command prompt. And then I'll show you how to manually add uh, a Python variable. So it should have downloaded Python 2.7. Okay, I'm going to run. Next. Uh, so it's going to be installed in C Python, which is okay with me. And now I'm going to make sure I do not add this add python.exe to path. So I'm not going to check this. And let's see. Okay, so uh, we finished installing. And now we're going to check, we're going to cmd Python 2.7. So we can't access Python 2.7 because we have added this path to the path variable. So Python 2.5, 3.5 is good, and Python 3.6 seems also to be good. Okay. So now let's add Python 2.7 exe to the path variable. So we're going to go to my computer. Local desk, Python. Okay, so we have Python and Python W. So let's first, it's always good to make a copy of this. We don't want to change this uh, Python because just in case there's other parts of the program that are using this uh, Python.exe that rely on Python.exe, we might sort of break it. So what we want to do is we're going to make a copy of this Python, paste, and we'll just rename this to Python 2.0. I think I opened it by mistake. Right. Uh, rename. So 
So we will just call this Python uh, 2.7. Okay. Now I'm going to show you a couple of things that you have to be careful of when adding Python path to the path variable. These couple of things could break your program so you won't be able to access Python from the command prompt. Okay. The first thing is here. If you uh, decide to copy the path, make sure you copy the path of the directory. If you copy the path to the exe file, such as this, there's a possibility that this will break your program and you won't be able to access Python uh, 2.7.exe. Uh, so if you copy this, this whole uh, path, which is directly to the exe file, you may not be able to access Python uh, 2.7 from the command prompt. This for some reason breaks the program. So I'll actually show you how it breaks it. So I'm going to copy this. Start. We're going to go to the environmental variables. So that's uh, start my computer. Where's my computer? All right, here we go. And then we go to system properties, advanced settings, environmental variables, uh, edit. And I'm going to add it in the middle there's another reason why I'm adding this in the middle, which I'll show to you a little later. I'm going to show you that adding this exe file breaks it. And you want to be careful of that. Okay. Alright, so this looks good enough. So we're going to add it after this uh, semicolon. So I'm going to control paste and then just add a semicolon at the end. So I'm going to show you that this does not work. Adding a, a direct, adding the path directly to the exe file for some reason does not work. So I'm going to click OK, click OK. So everything, the settings are saved. Now I'm going to open command prompt, and I'm going to show you that by typing Python 2.7, it does not work. Python 2.7 is not recognized as an internal external command. So Let's go back. We're going to get rid of that. Uh, my computer. So that's the one thing you have to be careful of. That it actually took me a little while to figure out. System properties. Advanced system settings. We're going to go into back here. We're going to go to edit. I'm going to select all. It's just easier to copy. I have a... Uh, here we go. Notepad already open. So I'm going to find... Uh, where I added the path within this uh, path variable. Okay, so here we go. Python 2.7 Python of okay, exe. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, just get rid of this. So all we're accessing is the, the folder with, within which Python uh, 2.7 exe is located. So I got rid of the, uh, the direct path to the exe file and we're just accessing now the folder, the directory to within which Python exe is located. So just by this little change, you're going to see that I'm able to access Python 2.7 from the command prompt. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, select all, uh, clear this, and I'm going to copy this. So select all, uh, copy, and we're just going to put this uh, edited path within the command prompt uh, within the uh, variable value. Okay, so we're going to save the settings and now always remember if your command prompt was open, uh, you always want to restart your command prompt. In my case, my command prompt was closed, so no problem. Okay, so now I'm going to show you that I can access Python 2.7 just by that change I made. There we go, no problem. Okay, all right, so now. I'm going to show you another thing you have to be careful of. So let's go back. I'm actually going to go back to my computer, system properties, advanced system settings, uh, back to the environmental variables. Uh, edit. Okay. Is we're going to make another change. Actually, I could just make the change from here. Okay. So the other change I want to do is I want to show you another way that you potentially could break your uh, command prompt command, Python command. So let's go back. We're going to find Python 2.7, which is somewhere around here. Here we go. Python 2.7. Okay. So just earlier, uh, the program was working. But I'm going to show you another way you could potentially break your, your program and something that you should be uh, careful about. 
Okay, so I'm going to cut this, and I'm going to add it to the end of my uh, path variable. So here we go. So exe, I'm going to add it all the way to the end. Now this is another way you could potentially break uh, your program. Always remember to add a semicolon at the end, but if it's the last value in your path variable, you don't have to do that. But, uh, so in this case, we'll just leave it open. Okay. Copy. Actually, first, let's delete. Uh, let's get rid of this one. Add. Let's get rid of this. And we're going to add uh, select all, copy, and okay. So now we've added the path all the way to the end of the uh, variable value. So we're going to press OK, OK, OK. So this saves everything. And I'm going to open up command prompt and show you that I can't access Python 2.7 anymore. So by adding it all the way to the end of the path variable, I'm unable to access Python 2.7 anymore. So I think this the reason for this is because um, there's a limit to how many values uh, Windows can access. So in, this, in my case, go to my computer. Um, in my case, if you just look here, I have so many values. So there seems to be a limit to the amount of values that Windows can actually access. So what I do is now, um, you take this, anything that's all the way at the end, you... Uh, you can cut it and just put it somewhere in the middle, even in the beginning. So I'll put it uh, after the Skype thing. I'm not sure what that's for, but... Uh, so yeah, I now I'm going to put it in the middle, and we'll go back to the path variable. Uh, so the path variable is open. Okay, um, advanced settings, environment variables, okay. So let's go to the path variable. We're going to delete the values. And we're going to use the values that the newly edited values. I'm just select all, copy. So remember, we put Python 2.7 somewhere in the beginning. Ah, here we go. We put Python 7 in the middle. And just by making this change as well, you can uh, prevent the earlier uh, break we had in the code, the earlier malfunction we had. So now I'm going to go back to uh, command prompt. Remember, always restart your command prompt if it was uh, open. And now you're going to see that I have no problem accessing Python 2.7. Print success. Alright. So hopefully that, that uh, clears up um, some, some problems you had installing multiple versions of Python. I know it took me a while to actually figure a lot of this stuff out. Uh, I've wasted hours trying to figure it out. And so hopefully you guys won't run into that problem, whatever version of Python you're interested in. Okay, so that's it. And I will see you guys next time.